up, everybody? We are live at the Commerce Casino for UNF the 13th. And coming with me right now, we have Jonathan Powell. Jonathan, you just scored yourself a victory here tonight. Congratulations, man. Talk to us about what went down in your fight and how you're feeling. I feel, I feel great, you know. I just, it was so, I want to say it was so easy, but I saw everything clearly with my eyes and I capitalized off of that. Yeah. Yeah. So what, 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 what were you expecting to go down in this fight? Was it exactly the way that you thought that it was going to play out? Yes, exactly. I visualized it, like I said, in the cage. I knew it was going to happen. I saw it beforehand and I knew the guy was going to be tough and I have a lot of respect for him. So I have been talking to a lot of the guys. I just spoke to Curtis Millinder right now and at least two spoken to when I asked them who were they looking forward to seeing here tonight you were the person that they named you were the person that they were like I want to see Jonathan Powell for you you are building up those accolades how does it feel to have the attention of people watching you right now uh sorry I missed everything my father's right there and I got a little I'm getting a little, <laughs> a little moment uh, with father I don't blame you yeah uh so my question was that, you know, a lot of people have been mentioning your name as somebody that they're excited to see. And your name has come up a whole lot, man. Curtis Millinger was one of them. How does it make you feel knowing that people know, like, know and recognize what you're doing? I feel great. You know, I like, I can't really, you know, I want to say brag about it because those are the guys I looked up to. They were here before me and they, you know, they showed me the path to take. So I have a lot of respect for those guys. And, you know, I look up to, look up to them more than, you know, anything in this world. So. Yeah. It is nice to have that, honestly. Yeah. So, you know, for you, like, this has been a big year, like, for in your career. Tell us about some of the mo big moments that have happened for you. You know, a lot of big moments happened. You know, me going to Serbia and losing, that was one of the biggest moments for me because that it taught me a lot and it gave me a lot of experience at the same time. So I can finally use that and show that, you know, I'm, I'm even better than I was before. Definitely. And it's even crazy because you mentioned even in a loss, I feel like you come out winning from that. Yes, 100 percent. I don't I hate to say it's a loss, like I just said, but it's a learning experience and there's nothing that's going to stop me from achieving my goals. You know, and you can mark my words on that. And now I have to ask you, of course, the big question is what's next? What's the plan? Of course, we're rounding out the 2023 year. We're going into 2024. We got the new year jitters coming up. What's the plan? All I know is. Uh, I'm not thinking, thinking ahead. I know I'm going to England next week to compete in the, the World Catch Wrestling uh, Championship. So that's all I'm thinking about right now. Next week I'll be in England. Mm. And how do you prepare for something like that? Like mentally, I know physically, right? You do the training, but mentally, how do you prepare for that? It was mentally tough because I was preparing for catch wrestling and MMA at the same time. But yeah, it's, it's something that was very hard and I don't think I'll do again. But uh, I'm just... I just know what I can do and I know my ability. So I want to push myself uh, to really achieve and go after things that nobody has gone after. So that's the whole, that's the whole motivation behind that. Yeah, keep doing it, man. Keep, keep checking things off of that bucket list. Keep doing things. Jonathan, my last question for you is how are you celebrating here tonight? Uh, I'm just going to, I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't really celebrate. I go hang out with my friends and my family and I, I call it a day. Get back in the gym tomorrow. I got stairs with my boy, Karan and Drake, so we're going to hit them stairs tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love it. Stay focused, man. Congratulations, Jonathan. Can't One wait day. to see what you continue doing. One more thing. Yeah. I love you, Victor Harry. Thank you for everything, brother. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Jonathan Powell, everybody. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.